All right, so now it's time to clean up our code just a little bit more and give us a little bit more fine tuning ability inside the game. Uh, you know, a lot of making a game is just like the uh, trial and error of it all. Like, you know, for instance, instead of here, we can mess with the, this rigid body a lot more to create like a much different feel for the game. Like, for instance, if we hit this number up to two, if it ever loads, we go in, we fall much faster, and all of a sudden I can't make it over. Oh, luckily the game's buggy. <laughs> but you know, I don't even go as high right here, and like, look how much faster I fall. Feels a little bit better. But now all of a sudden, like my jump is just not powerful enough to make some of these jumps that I made before. You know? Like before I could just like run across this. Now, barely make it. So, how do we go about we're gonna actually make it so that a lot of the things like our movement speed and stuff like that is actually able to be manipulated right in here we're gonna do it the same way that we did things before we want the variables to be private so my challenge to you guys is to actually set it all up yourselves. I want you to make a speed variable for how fast he's moving in the left or right direction. I want you to make a jump force variable for like uh, how uh, high he is going. This is your challenge. We are getting a little bit more serious over here because like at this point, you've seen a lot of stuff. You can go back and check things out if you need to. All right, so we're gonna wanna serialize the fields because we want access to them inside of the uh, inspector, inside of Unity as well. So we're gonna, add the, of course, we're gonna make them private because that's what we do. We're gonna make a float. We're gonna call, and we're gonna make a speed, right? And we know that we were using five before for that speed. Now, in all these spots where this five is, we're gonna go in and change its speed instead. Speed and speed, right? We should have been doing this all along, but I didn't want to confuse everybody by adding more and more stuff. At the beginning so now all you have to do to mess with it is change this number right here or you can change it inside the inspector so if we take a look inside the game right now it's gonna play and look and feel the exact same because all i did was change it so that like we have access to it right here and we're gonna double this number check it out whoosh all of a sudden we're going hyper fast look at that his animation's almost not fast enough you're like, oh man, that stinks. Like, I wish his animation was faster. Well, don't worry. You go over here to the run animation. You boost his speed up to two as well. And all of a sudden, we go into the game. Whoosh! I'm hyper fast and I move fast too. Look at my arms. Look at my legs. Oh, 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 buggy game. <laughs> don't worry. Look at that. Super fast. <laughs> all right. <laughs> you get the point. You can do some things. Uh, Per usual, if you make a difference inside the uh, while, while it's running, normally it doesn't stay updated, but the animator actually does. So you're gonna wanna go revert that back, and you wanna click on the player. By the way, I didn't know that till a second ago. That's why I began that sentence with uh, as usual, and then I ended up with a completely different ending to that. My bad, guys. And But uh, five is still in here. We're probably gonna want something more along the lines of seven. Go back into the game itself. And seven does feel pretty good, in my opinion. Of course, you can change it up, do it how you want as well. We're gonna want to create a variable for jump force now. Now, if you weren't able to do the speed on your own, see if you can do the jump force. All right, so welcome back. We're gonna do a serialize field. We're gonna go private, load, jump. Strength, force, whatever you want to call it, I like force. Uh, what number did we use earlier when we did jump? It's 10F. And then we are going to change this to jump force. And all of a sudden, we have access to it in here. Maybe we'll up that to 12. Woo! And as you see, and as you see, the seven even stayed in here, despite the fact that we want to change the script. The inspector remembers what you did to it. So, like, the jump feels a lot better. It's going a lot better. We might want to change the gravity scale to, like, five. Just like, oh, wow, I fall fast. Yeah, it's over. <laughs> um, okay, so maybe, like, three. <laughs> 
And then we'll have to change, of course, the jump force to deal with that. So I'll change this to like 15, maybe. Look at that, just like plummeting now. It's maybe even like a little bit too fast. So just get it to where you like to play and how you want it to feel. If you want him to be uber fast and run around and be the fastest platformer ever, then build it up that way. You can do it. You've now seen how all the buttons work, how all the numbers mess with things. Experiment. Have fun. That's how you're going to learn. And also just how this is not going to become work, you know? So that is how to add speed and jump force to here and mess with things and keep things cleaner inside your code as well. It also reads a lot better. It's a very important reason why to do it this way. So now you know, oh, wait a minute, he's moving at negative speed it's when he's moving left. You also want to go in through and comment everything eventually. So over here you can say moving left, moving right. And now we don't even need this else function inside of here because we've actually dealt with that. What is this? Oh, that needs to go. Um, jumping. And eventually you're gonna wanna do something more along the lines of this. We're gonna close out the velocity state there. We're gonna wanna create a method. And actually what you can do is you can select all of this. You can go Uh, quick actions refactoring extract method you go like this and then you can type up a name for this thing and you can say um, uh, input manager or something like that you hit apply over here and all of a sudden you have this whole function built right in right down here instead so it'll do the jumping moving everything and then it then it does a velocity state and then does the animations right there. So, or you know what? Like, I don't really like that name, so we're gonna do uh, movement instead because that's closer to what it actually is. All right, and so it's just like you don't even have to comment that because you know this does movement, this does your velocity state. I almost wanted to call it like animation state or something like that so that it's more like named correctly. And I can do that, control R R animation state. And and then of course it sets up the animation. This is the only thing that you might want to set up. Sets animation based on enumerator state. All right. And so just like that, it's gotten a lot cleaner. You don't really have to even take a look at this and look at that. It's just it looks a lot better feels a lot better. You might want to like, like put in like what each one of these are for, but you don't really need to if you don't want to. Variables. And it only has to make sense to you, like unless you're working with other people, of course. And finite state machine is what these type of things are called, where you change things based on the enumerator and stuff. Um, okay, so as you can see on there, like it's a lot cleaner, it reads a lot better, you can tell what's going on a lot better, and we basically cleaned up our code a lot. And got it, so that's working. Most of the work that we're gonna be doing is in private void update and putting methods into it, but for now we've got a pretty solid foundation here for a character controller. Um, maybe not ideal, but it's about as good as I'm gonna make it as for my purposes. Um, so, per usual, hit that like button if you uh, liked the video. If you didn't like the video, then then just pretend like you did and hit it anyway. And uh, subscribe, hit the bell notification to find out about when I release all these free videos and everything. Um, and most importantly, leave me that comment below. Let me know what you want to see next what you wish you had for a video game tutorial and just um also like let me know where you're at with the coding like i don't know like i kind of built this around beginners in mind like the kind of you know get your toe dip your toe in the water before you cannonball in then force you to cannonball in and then like uh hopefully get you used to the water over time uh but i don't know how it's working out i 
you know, I'm not on the receiving end of this. So like, uh, let me know like how you're doing for coding. Maybe I need to make a whole series that's just like, you know, slower on the, on the whole coding aspect of things and just walking people through like one like concept at a time. Or maybe this is like even too slow. I have no idea. So just let me know and have yourselves a great day. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.